Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be looking at this brand new 2022 Ford F-350. Now this particular F-350 is an XLT model, finished in iconic silver metallic. This is a dual rear wheel F-350. It's also offered as a single rear wheel, uh, but we do have the dually here in this case. It also has the XLT premium package, which is sort of an upgraded equipment group uh, for the XLT model. But taking a walk around the outside of this F-350, we do have your standard uh, halogen headlights here. This is the standard headlight on the XLT. Uh, but with the premium package, we do get a unique grill, sort of the chrome grill as well as the chrome steel front bumper. We also have the exposed recovery hooks down there at the bottom. The premium package also does include the fog lights. So we do have the fog lights included with the premium package as well. Come around to the side here of the F-350. We do have the 17 inch polished forged aluminum wheels. Uh, these are actually an upgraded wheel that is uh, offered on this particular truck. Um, it is wrapped in the LT24575 as a Michelin tire. So again, this is an F350. Um, if you get an F450, you do start of, you get the wider uh, front end. The front axle sticks out a little bit farther, uh, but this is the standard uh, axle width for the F350s. You also have your badging there on the side. And this does, of course, have the power stroke turbo diesel engine. We also have the optional power scope mirrors. Uh, so they do power extend as they also power fold. We also have a LED spotlight in there. And it's a dual convex mirror. So you have the two uh, convexes here for the, your towing mirror. And again, it does power extend as well. Included with the premium package, we also do get the chrome running boards. We also have the chrome door handles here as well. We'll give you a look at the window sticker on this particular F-350. So we do have the iconic silver exterior, and this does have a lot of options on it. Uh, so it has sort of a lot of stuff just kind of bunched together. Uh, it brings the price to 86,300. Um, that is Canadian pricing. So it's a little different than you would see here in the States, but uh, 86,000 Canadian dollars. Now, this particular truck is a super crew, so it's the full four door. And being a dually, it means it does have to have the eight foot box. Uh, so this is the longest configuration for a Super Duty you can get. It does, of course, have four-wheel drive, so we do have the 4x4 sticker there on the back. Give you a look at the uh, the dually setup back here. Similar setup back here. It's the same same wheel. Um, it's the same size tire as well, 245.75. And we do have the diesel dual exhaust. We also have the uh, the taillights. Do include the blind spot radar system, actually integrated in the back there as well, which is pretty cool. We also have the chrome rear bumper to of course match the front, and then also does house the parking sensors that are also part of that XLT premium package. We have nice beefy trailer hitch back here with the adapter as well. Includes obviously your four and seven pin connectors. Nice super duty badge there on the tailgate with your rear view camera. We open this up. Uh, this particular truck does not have the gooseneck prep package, um, but you would typically find sort of the, uh, the fifth wheel mounts back there and you would also have the external or the auxiliary uh, plugins for your trailer. Uh, but again, this one particular one does not have that. Uh, but we do have the factory spray and bed liner. You also get multiple tie down points back here as well. Stepping inside of this F-350, we do again have those chrome door handles and we do have the keyless entry keypad there, which is also a part of that XLT premium package. Uh, but standard on the XLT, we do have the medium earth gray seating in here. Uh, this is also the bench seat configuration, uh, but we do have the optional power driver's seat, which is also a part of the premium package. So you do get a bunch of stuff with the premium package, uh, one of them being the included power driver's seat with the two-way lumbar as well. Uh, looking here at the door panel, we have some nice, uh, some nice soft touch material here in the armrest. Also have your power windows, power mirrors, and your power locks down here. And again, those mirrors do include the power fold, and also the power extend, so you can use these buttons to extend the mirrors uh, when you're towing a trailer. Plenty and plenty of storage in the door, of course. Uh, we also have your automatic headlight controls over here, as well as your mirror spotlights, your fog lights, your bed lighting, and uh, your parking brake down there as well. And the XLT does come standard with rubber flooring, uh, which is another benefit to an XLT, is that it's sort of an upgraded from the XL, uh, but you do have the rubber floor still, which is nice to keep everything uh, you know, easy to clean. Uh, but stepping inside of the F350 here, Take a look at the key fob. Now, this is just the standard uh, Ford switchblade key. You can option in the remote start system, although this particular one uh, does not have that. We'll fire up this uh, 6.7 liter 
Power Stroke Diesel, which makes 475 horsepower, I believe it is, and uh, over a thousand foot-pounds of torque. These these engines have gotten uh, ridiculous in terms of their their power output. It's uh, truly incredible what uh, Ford's been able to do with the uh, the Power Stroke engine. It is mated to the 10-speed heavy-duty automatic transmission, uh, which was new for 2020. Uh, but Ford, Ford kept that for the 2022 model. Uh, it's a fantastic transmission. Uh, Ford's been using in their F-150s and every other Ford model for a while now. Obviously, it's been beefed up for the Super Duty, uh, but again, we do have that here. Uh, and starting here on the steering wheel, we have controls here for your center gauge cluster screen there, and also your cruise control. We also have some of your volume buttons and some of your phone uh, Bluetooth buttons there as well. And we can scroll through various things in this gauge cluster. Uh, we're starting in the display mode here. We have your engine information, which includes your oil temperature and engine hours. We also have your transmission temperature, seatbelt indicators, your maintenance monitor, which includes a bunch of different stuff. You also have your range, your fuel range, tire pressures, uh, which includes both the uh, the dual we uh, wheels in the back too, which is pretty convenient. You also have your digital speedometer there. And you have your trip and fuel information, which includes uh, your trips one and two, as well as your fuel economy and fuel history. You also have your towing section. You can check your trailer statuses. You have your off-road settings uh, with your steering angles and your four-wheel drive status as well. You have another various uh, vehicle settings. This also does include the driver assistance features uh, like your blind spot system, cross traffic alert, your parking sensors, pre-collision assist. You can go into here and change the uh, sensitivity as well as your active braking. You also have various uh, vehicle settings in here as well. And moving here in the middle, we do have Ford's Sync 3 8 inch touchscreen display. Uh, this is standard on the XLT model, which is nice. Ford incorporates the screen. It is a fantastic screen here. Uh, we're on the home screen here, so you have your, your radio and your phone over here, or you can go into individual menus here. You have your sources. We have Sirius XM or Bluetooth. You have all your phone settings down here, and you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can incorporate that. You also have various vehicle settings in here. Ford Pass Connect uh, that does allow you to remote start uh, your truck or any new Ford vehicle from anywhere in the world, all from your phone. You also have more vehicle settings over there. On top of the screen, you have your diesel engine brake. Uh, so you have your on, and you can also set it to an automatic setting, which is nice. You also have your traction control and the hazard light button there. And again, this truck does have four-wheel drive, so you have four high and a four low selector there as well. Down here, we have your, uh, your climate control system. This does have the rear defrost, which is also a, an upgrade from the, uh, from the XLT. Trailer brake controller, of course, which is definitely a must-have on a Super Duty. You also have your... 12-volt connector and some USBs down there as well. Again, this one does have the bench seat configuration, which uh, which comes standard with the XLT is the bench seat. Uh, you also have some storage up here, and of course you can fold this up, and you can sit three people in the front if you need the additional storage, uh, or the additional space for people. You also have a 110-volt outlet up here and a 12-volt connector. We also do have a dual glove box, so there is certainly no shortage of storage here and the F-350. And this one also does have the optional upgrader switches. So these are uh, pre-wired to the fuse box and you can actually tap into these and maybe, you know, for a potential upfit that you might do or you can run a light bar or a winch or something like that off of these. Well, we'll show you the back seat here of this F-350. Again, this is a super crew model. Uh, so we do have the full four doors with that, again, that eight foot box, the dually box. And again, we do have the medium earth gray seating back here. It's a nice heavy duty cloth. It will withstand anything. Uh, you can also fold these seats up and you don't have a nice flat load surface back here. This one does have the lockable uh, under seat storage. You can actually lift this up and, uh, oh, there we go. You can actually lift this up uh, with that seat over there. You can lift it up and then you can lock the seat so it faces down and so you don't have access to this bottom section here. So it's nice. You can throw some valuables in here and not have to worry about it. Also have some additional storage under here as well. Fold this back down. We do have the uh, wheel covers, the chrome wheel covers. Uh, this truck not has actually been through our, our PDI shop. So these would go on the front wheels and also the rear wheels. Um, but if we move this out of the way here, we do have some cup holders back here. We also have a 12 volt connector. And again, those rubber floors do carry all the way to the back as well. But unfortunately, this particular F-350 is a sold unit. But if you're interested in getting one just like this, feel free to give us a call or visit mcfeeford.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.